YouTube, Topaz Ace back for another album review, and this one is to the game 1992, and this makes a lot of sense for the game to do, I mean, going back to his first album, the documentary, where that was him ultimately documenting his life with what was going on during the times and such that he was coming up, in which that made a lot of sense with his whole style that he was kicking off, where he was doing a whole bunch of punchlines based on names of other people and such, man, but yet, when he continued to do that after that whole concept came to an end, that's when it became really weird. But yet what he's doing with 1992 is somewhat revisiting that where he's documenting what happened back in 1992. And it was one crazy year when you go back and think about it. Like, what happened in 1992? There was the L.A. riots, in which that's what the game spoke on in the Savage song that he got on here. The Chronic came out, and that's what he talked about on the soundtrack song that he got on here. Juice the Movie came out, and that's what he's talking about on The Juice, the track that he got on here. And honestly, that's one of my favorite favorite tracks off this entire project. South Central the movie came out as well and that's something that he's definitely touching on a bit for that young nigga story song where that joint is pretty cool with what he's talking about is how he and his friend was once cool but yet they fell into two separate gangs and such and then they fell completely apart due to that and he chalked it up as this is just something that young kids do. But then after that note this album became more about what many people deem to be the golden age of hip hop than just 1992 where he's just touching on the entire 90s and then some 80s stuff as well. Like that I grew up on Wu-Tang where he sampling cream get the money dollar dollar bills y'all which that came out in 93. That song Fuck OJ where he's ultimately talking about OJ Simpson and his show and the trial and everything. The trial happened in 95 and then the sample that he got on there is the message from Grandmaster Flash which that came out in the 80s. Now that song The Colors Slash is on actually one of my favorite songs especially when they switch it up to the it's on part man. That's ultimately referencing a movie that came out in 1988 called Colors. Now much like a lot of the game's latest projects and such man, he'll give you a solid few joints man, but the rest of it really not that strong. Like my core issue that I have with this project is it overall comes off as a mixtape because as he's trying to reference and sample all of these things from the 90s and everything man, you come to realize a lot of people has done these same exact samples and ultimately he's not doing it on the highest level possible. So honestly it just feels like a bunch of instrumentals that he's rapping on instead of it being actual original material that should be an album. Still a project I would recommend you to go ahead and cop some individual songs off of there because you are going to get two good songs out of the game every project. But I but I overall give this joint man a 6 out of 10. But this concludes today's review and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Grand Camp before we jump into the news and then jump to an article from downloadpass.com. this not that long ago that Jay-Z expanded on his brand against some TV deals and such, man, in which the first thing that Jay-Z saying that he's trying to do is bring the Khalif Browder story to life, in which he already got a deal for that to be on Spike TV, which I'm definitely going to peep this out. For those of you who don't know Khalif Browder, he was a black kid that got arrested for allegedly stealing somebody's book bag at a party and was in jail for three years without a trial or anything like that. Definitely a deep story that I hope Jay Z brings justice too, and I definitely can't wait to see that. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPads.com, and today's article was about solving problems. Because here's the thing, a lot of people just aren't good with problem solving. Like, you have a problem, say, I want to get into the music industry. Everybody tries to solve this problem the same exact way. I need to get some money if I'm going to do this, but yet you'll never have enough money to get into the music industry. Like, you have to have enough finesse and creativity to solve whatever problem comes your way with whatever you have. Like, pretty much you got to be the MacGyver of rap, bruh. If you want to solve that problem, then you need to take whatever you have around you, whether it's you got a computer that you can do music with, whether you got friends that's known in the streets and such that you can go ahead and help push your stuff, man. You got to use whatever you can and benefit off of that in order to raise your awareness up, man. I mean, you're never going to have the slam dunk tools for success that the majors and all these people have, but yet you do have a brain, and this brain is going to help you use whatever you got around you to benefit yourself to find your own success. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. 
And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.